This is real food, baby. This is so easy to make. It's another one of those uh, 30 second specials. Healthy vegan cuisine for everyone's palate. Hey, hey, guess what I got you? Wait a minute, what's this? What is this? Oh, thing? that's a butternut squash. Okay. I'll tell you about that later. All right. oh, look what I got you. Your very own apron. Are you kidding me? Hey, it was two for the price of one. Don't complain. Oh. To keep your clothes clean. So I have to clean. wear it because you've got a bargain? I sure did. Can't pass them up, you know. Hey, come on. You know, why you look cute? I'll tell you what, I wear a hat. All right? So anyway, I invited them over later. Yeah? For some nachos and enchiladas. What I do you think? I thought the guy was trying to lose weight. Nachos and enchiladas? How? Well, wait till you see how I make my nachos and enchiladas. Okay. This is delicious, by the way. Oh, good. See? Water. With mint leaves. That's mint it. leaves. That's right. Okay, so it looks like you're getting ready to get to work now. Mm-hmm. Wanted to know if you could uh, get started with my enchilada filling. I need you to slice these mushrooms. The mushroom, the fungi. Yeah, mushroom enchiladas is what we're going to have. And then we're going to have some wonderful nachos with this great queso sauce that I'm going to be making out of butternut squash. Wait till you see is, that. What does queso mean? Queso means cheese. So, so you're, well, obviously you're not going to use cheese, you're going to use Nope, what? I'm going to be using butternut squash. So I got to bake this butternut squash for about 45 minutes or so until it's completely soft and tender. Mm -hmm. Now, most people like to cut the butternut squash first. I do it the easy way. I just stick the whole thing in the oven because it's so hard to get that knife through a really hard butternut squash, having to deal with peeling it. You don't need to do all that. You can just stick it right in the oven. So we're doing that, and I'm going to get this onion chopped up and start our enchilada filling. You know, I know they're not going to be expecting exactly what I'm going to be making, but I want to give them a filling for their enchilada that will really, really wow them and, and have that hardiness and flavor. So they'll think it's meat. Well, they won't think it's meat, but it's a mushroom filling that's really, really hearty. Uh, Terry, try to slice them as thinly as possible. So here, I let, can't me, do let me that just, rapid oh, come TV on, you can do it, you can do it. There you go, like that. Just keep your fingers nicely tucked like that so you don't chop them up, okay? And get them as thinly as you can. Okay. Okay, you can do that. And I'm gonna chop this onion. This is gonna go into the, uh, the enchilada filling first. Okay, my onion's done. And now I know because Craig and Maria are trying to lose weight, she may not want to, but she will eating this kind of food. I'm gonna saute that not in oil, but just in a little bit of water. I'll just take a little water out of my pitcher. I don't think it'll taste too minty. So I'm gonna get my pan hot. We're gonna put these, these onions in there. Just in water, water will saute beautifully. I'm also gonna add a few cloves of garlic and a diced red bell pepper. I am slicing these mushrooms as skinny as I can get them. Okay, but if you don't curl your fingers like that, we're not gonna have vegan filling, so. <laughs> All right, just watch it. Watch your fingers, sweetheart. All right, I'm throwing in one diced pepper. What's that odd taste in this? Uh. I know you want to get a little bit of that meat in there, but I mean, really, <laughs> come on. <laughs> so I've got my six cloves of garlic. I'm going to throw that in there. We're going to saute that until it's nice and tender. A little sprinkling of sea salt as well. We're going to put that in there. Get sure, it flavored to go. Don't want you to stab me. Okay, now in the meanwhile, I'm gonna get started on the ranchero sauce. What I've got here are some peppers that I've soaked in water. I soaked these in the water before I went shopping so they'd be ready by the time I got back. And I've got about three different kinds of peppers in here, chili peppers. Now remember, the larger they are, the milder they're gonna be. And you can always add more and make it hotter, but you can't take the heat out. So I always like to start out with as few as possible.
I may not be adding any oil to any of the dishes today, but before I start, I've oiled my hands, which will prevent the heat from the peppers getting into my hands and possibly my eyes if I rub them later by accident. Be sure to scrape out the seeds, which are the hottest part. Put the peppers in the blender. Now pour in the soaking liquid, about three to four cups. Add half an onion, quartered. Now my seasonings. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and now my secret ingredient, four tablespoons of raw cacao nibs, which is just raw chocolate. Now I add about four cloves of garlic, and finally, one more secret ingredient, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. To thicken, I'm adding about a half a cup of all-purpose flour. That's it. Now I puree it all. Pour this into a large skillet or saucepan and add a quart of vegetarian chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock or just water if you like, but the vegetarian chicken stock adds another layer of flavor. Now all we have to do is simmer this for about 15 minutes until it's nice and thickened and full of flavor. If it's not hot enough for you, you can just puree the rest of the peppers in some water and add it in. Mmm, that's tasty. Ah! Hey Terry, can you pass me that blue bowl over there? Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to marinate my onions for the uh, papaya salad here with the marinated onions. Got my one red onion in there. And I'm going to just sprinkle it with some sherry vinegar, which will help it wilt, give it sort of that cooked effect. A little bit of sea salt, and I'm going to just sweeten it up with a little bit of agave nectar. Can I put my a diabetic plug in for agave? Uh, sure. Low in the hypoglycemic index. Or the it glycemic is, yeah, index. In the gly it, yep, it is lower in the glycemic index. Yeah, so. I'm just going to give that a stir, and we're going to set this aside for about 30 minutes. And by then, it should be nice and wilted and marinated. There we go. How are the mushrooms coming along? They oh, they're looking good. You know, they are, yeah. it's because you kept the heat high the whole time. Very important when you want mushrooms to brown, and so they don't end up in a puddle of water, that you keep the heat high at all times. Okay, so now that the mushrooms have cooked down, I'm going to add a diced tomato. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of cumin seeds all right, to the mushrooms. Throw that in there. Give that a stir for me. And we're going to add the tomato. Did we add garlic to that? I can't yes. remember. We did. Garlic. Yeah, you did. Okay, because if I forgot, so maybe I thought we should add more garlic well, to it. Why not, right? I got a clove of garlic here. Why not? Just throw another clove of garlic in there. It's a good thing when you forget whether or not you put garlic into a dish because it gives you a reason to add more. All right, I'm going to add another clove of garlic. And we got the tomato in there now, and the cumin and the garlic. Give that a stir. And now, smelling good? All right, but I'm going to add a couple more ingredients. That's not all. We're going to add cinnamon to this as well, too. I know it seems really strange. You know, in. No, cinnamon is it's, a oh, great it's thing, fat. isn't it? People just think of cinnamon as something that you add to to desserts, but actually it's fabulous for savory dishes as well. It's got to have a little bit of heat. So I'm going to add these chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, which give it a wonderful smoky quality. We're going to start out with just a half, and I'm going to just give it a, a nice mincing there. Okay, excuse me, we're going to put that in there, give oh that boy. a stir. And if it's not spicy enough, then we'll add some more. Okay, I'm just about ready to start in the papaya salad, but first I want to get Terry started on rolling the enchiladas. You about ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. Am I ready to All roll? All right. Well, okay, what I'm going to do is add the final ingredient to my mushroom filling. Remember, the mushroom filling has mushrooms and onions, red bell pepper, Did you tomato, put in? lots and... <laughs> Maybe I should add some more garlic. It's got garlic, and we've seasoned it with cumin, cinnamon, and a little bit of chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. And I'm going to just taste it and see whether it's got the degree of heat I want before I uh, have them start rolling. So I'm going to add the cilantro to that, give that a stir. And I'm going to get a spoon and just see whether Man. or not it is 
The smell of the cilantro coming off this is just mm. gorgeous. That's pretty good, but I mm. think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the sauce to it. You know, of the chipotle? Yeah, of the adobo sauce. You know, I don't think it's quite hot enough, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I like, I like things with a little bit of heat, don't you? Yes. Okay, so I left that half a chipotle pepper here on the counter. I'm going to add that now. And this adds that wonderful smokiness that I was talking about earlier. So we'll get that in there. Caliente. And this is what I want you to do with the uh, tortillas. But this has got the, the which one has that the chipotle? That one has the chipotle, right. uh, chipotle and adobo too? sauce, yeah. All right, so all you have to do is take your tortilla and throw it over an open flame and just let it cook for a few seconds on one side, then flip it right over. Right on top of the burner. Just on top of the burner. Yeah, I just like to, I like to get a little bit of that charred action going because it just gives it more of that smoky flavor. So, and it softens up the tortilla so we can roll it better, okay? Yeah. So just do that and then just put them over here, okay? okay? Until they're nice and uh, you, I can give you some tongs if you want as well too, otherwise. That's fine, all right? So you just do that for a minute. And now what I'm gonna have you do is roll the enchiladas. Put it right in here. Oh, turn that heat off there. Mm -hmm. I think we have enough tortillas. Very easy. Now that they're soft, now that you've cooked them, they're, they're tender enough to, thank you, you just put a little bit of this filling in your enchilada like that. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit, and then just roll like that, okay? Yes, ma'am. And just keep doing that and just go rolling. Rolling, rolling up the tacos. No, they're not tacos, though. They are. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. okay, just like that. I'll leave a little space between them for the sauce. And uh, now I'm ready to start on the papaya salad. 